Look what I've got. Look at this. Isn't this nice? Just look at that. I've got a new toy. I've got Blender's new parallax occlusion mapping build here. It's an experimental branch, but uh, look at that. And that's the geometry. Look at that. And over here, no deformation modifiers at all, no subsurf, nothing, just just real-time Eevee and that's it. Isn't that nice? It's um it's like displacement map. It's like a really, really good normal map. Uh but with sort of fake displacement. It it's not real displacement because if you take a look when it goes round it doesn't break the doesn't actually deform the geometry but for 90% uh, of anything you need for animations or anything else that's really nice look at that that's lovely just look at that that is nice okay I'll show you how to use this and uh, how to uh, get hold of it and set it up okay this is the page where you get the actual blend from it's on a site called graphical and it's where you find a lot of custom blender builds to do with things like Google Summer of Code you just come to graphical I'll put the link in the description and that's the download button to get it from uh, a good tip here is to check out this link here which will take you to this site and on this site they will actually tell you a little bit about what it is how it works and how to set it up which is good fun also have some example files as well currently it's in a separate branch hopefully it'll get rolled into an official branch and we'll have it as a uh, a proper node in the main main branch of blender that's the hope so uh, we'll see what happens anyway on to the actual build pop back here hit download it's a zip file you unzip it it's its own little blender installation you don't have to install anything you just run the blender exe file directly out of the unpacked zip folder and off you go just look at that That is nice. That's a geo. There you go. This is a little thing I've made really quickly. As, as you can see, it's like not an awful lot of work went into this. It's just some cylinders that should be mirrored and then rotated around the axis to get the uh, like this spaceship shape this is where the magic happens in here under add you have vector parallax occlusion map right and we've already got one of these here so what you do is you click on that you select your height map which we've got here and you hook up on your principal bsdf you hook up depth offset and normal and then you can adjust the amount of depth here yeah. and I find 0 0.1 0 0.3 works best there we go and again it's not true displacement but for 99% of uh, requirements that's pretty storming really oh color space should be set to linear to get the best result otherwise you can have all sorts of weird things going on thanks for watching this is team monster have a good day goodbye